We've come a long way in our battles against disease, but the war is far from over. Illnesses ranging from malaria to flu still defy the doctors. And one of our deadliest modern afflictions, drug addiction, still shows little sign of yielding to treatment. In the developed world, the success rate for addicts averages just 12%. But now a new breakthrough promises a brighter future. It's a Sunday afternoon at LAX International Airport, Los Angeles. Barnaby Hopkins is here to meet an old school friend he hasn't seen in five years. James Whitby. When did you first try to stop? Uh, well, in 1994, I start, started taking um, prescribed. And that was what you, that's what you term as first trying to um, give up? Uh, oh, no, I, try, I tried uh, a, a, a detox in, in England. It's absolutely hell. I mean, it's a nightmare. What are you expecting out of it? Anyway? I'm expecting, hopefully, a whole new life. Yeah. I'm not expecting, I'm hoping, I'm praying for, basically. You know, one can't expect anything. I mean, I've got to give it my all. That's all I can give. Well, that's great, James. On admittance to the clinic, the first hurdle James has to overcome is to document fully his drug usage. I'm going to go through now a bunch of drugs uh, mm -hmm. one at a time. Yeah. And uh, again, I just want you to be as accurate as possible. Yeah. How old were you when you first started drinking alcohol? Oh, six or seven. When did you last use heroin? Um, I used heroin uh, just before I came out here. So that would have been... Um, I had a last night then. Saturday? Um, yeah, um, yes, Saturday. Uh, cocaine, how old were you when you first used cocaine? About um, 16. Okay. And um, when did you last use it? Um, I had some on Saturday. And how much did you use then? Um, I had a quarter of a gram. And when you were using it heavy, how much were you five, using? Five grams a day, five or six. So when did you first uh, try crack? I would say probably about, I was actually quite old actually, um, as far as I was concerned. I think probably, um, I was probably about 23, 22, 23. And your heaviest use of just crack was? Um, it would have been, um, um, I, well, we, it, it always came in little sort of rocks, so it's quite difficult to sort of est guesstimate. I can't remember. Well, we've covered all the major groups, and, yeah. you, and you haven't really skipped any, so we're we're covered. It's important that James lets them know. Ex James's first treatment will be like all the rest, nothing more complex than a few hours a day on this trip. It may be simple, but the secret to success is in the solution. Are you okay? Fine. Absolutely fine. Are you back? Well, yeah, I'll do a bit later. It's okay? Yeah. Okay. Right. Amino acids are the building blocks for neurotransmitters and receptors, natural chemical messengers that trigger responses in neurons, the cells that carry signals in the brain. Dr. Hitt's theory is that an addict's brain has a craving for higher levels of neurotransmitters than a normal person's. Illegal drugs, like cocaine, act as a chemical substitute that fulfills this need. By replacing the drug with natural neurotransmitters in the form of amino acids, Dr. Hitt can relieve this craving and with it the desire to take drugs. Time. I feel fantastic. Um... I don't know what they're doing to me, but uh, it seems to be working perfectly well. Usually one has dreams of sort of, of like scoring in one's sleep or anything like that. Usually I'll be throwing TVs, you know, eating raw coffee, you know, a lot. Um, uh, what about the shakes and stuff? I haven't had, it, haven't had the shakes at all. You sweat? Sweats, no. Wow. Had a bit of kicking last night, no, the night before, and that usually goes on for about two weeks. And four months later, he is still clean and sober, and making plans for his new life. For about a month afterwards, I had an amazing clarity, but uh, I found it very difficult to communicate um, vocally. It's quite disorientating at first. Uh, one expects life to be sort of rather more stressful. 
and it isn't. Um, it's very, very much uh, rosier than I thought it was. I don't know what I'm going to do next, but uh, basically it's nice to have the feeling that the world is my oyster, and it's basically time to get on with the rest of my life.